Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm Jennifer Gianni, and we're going to be looking at how to release the very small muscles that connect the skull and the top of the neck, C1, C2, um, and those are your suboccipitals. And per square inch, these muscles have more muscle fibers than any uh, muscle in our body. So they can get really tight and clamped down, and this is a nice way to release it. Now, if you have someone with really, really severe neck jaw pain, then you want to use heat in this area. So I would recommend instead of even this little tennis ball that you use something like the Smart Spine Arch Tubby at this area to release it. And for some people, it's nice to start with the heat to create some suppleness in this area and then go to the little ball. All right, so we're just gonna imagine that I've already heated this area and you're gonna go onto your back, you're gonna have a yoga block and then you're gonna get the ball and you're gonna hold on to the ball and at first, you're gonna place the ball right at the center of the occiput where the head meets the, the neck. And here you're not gonna feel too much sensation. And I'm gonna change to the other hand for a second so I'm not blocking myself. Um, so here you can do some flexion extension, you can go side to side, but it's usually not a really big deal for people when it's right in the center. Um, the more sensation filled is when you move the ball to the side. So right now I've moved the ball from the center to the right side of the occiput. So I'm at that mastoid process. And here, there can be a lot of tension and a lot of sensation, right? I'm still holding onto the ball so the ball stays still, and then I can move my head on that still ball, which creates this kind of flossing of the tissue, so I'm kind of taking the tissue away from the bone. So I can do a little flexion extension, I can go a little bit back and forth, and then I wanna make sure that I'm keeping my face relaxed and my jaw relaxed, you could do this for 30 seconds to a minute and then you ask your client to take the ball away and they usually don't want to because it hurts so good <laughs> and they can really feel that things are being unwound but you just want to do 30 seconds to a minute and then have them lie down and like even right now, it's just incredible. I only did a little bit, and it's incredible the difference between my left and right side. So this is a really powerful exercise that is um, very easy for the client to recreate at home and do on a daily basis to keep their neck healthy and their jaw healthy. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.